A local man is making a comeback after a fire destroyed their art gallery. And this was the scene back in May. Now, in a story you'll only see here, KSNT News reporter Hannah Brandt is live to tell us how they rebuilt and went from ashes to art. Hannah? Yeah, Brooke, that's right. When the fire burned down everything they had worked to create, a group of artists met here at the Celtic Fox to share their frustrations, their sadness, and their anger. But then they turned those emotions into motivation to make a comeback by opening up the vintage Fox. Flames tore through the Trails Art Gallery in Topeka in late May, destroying the building and all of the art and artifacts inside. When trails burned we felt like we lost more than just stuff we lost we felt like we lost our happy place and we felt like we lost our home it was a devastating loss for the artists who sold their work there and they leaned on each other to get through it meeting weekly at the celtic fox right after the fire people were pretty distraught so we would all meet over there friday at one o'clock and it was kind of predominantly just a cry in your beer thing you know oh Poor me and poor that. And there was a lot of tears. But they didn't let it keep them down for long. In early September, seven of the vendors from the gallery opened up the vintage Fox right next to the place they had come to for comfort. It's our beginning of something new out of something so horrible. Now they're back in better than ever and selling all kinds of art, vintage items, and just about everything in between. You know, we do this because we love it, not because we have to. And I guarantee you, if you walk through the blue door and you make it all the way to the back, you'll, have, you'll come out with a smile. And like each of the artifacts they have in their store, it's the story of what they've been through that makes the Vintage Fox so special. And now I look around and I'm in awe on how everybody here has made this place this just looks so fantastic and so wonderful and i couldn't be prouder to have these people around me this family um and i'm very proud And while those artists are moving forward, they aren't forgetting what happens or where they came from. And that's why right here in front of the new store are these two bricks that came from the original Trails Gallery, and they're painted yellow like the doors that once stood there. Live from downtown Topeka, Hannah Brandt, KSNT News. All right, thank you so much, Hannah. And the Vintage Fox is on 8th Avenue in downtown Topeka. Yeah, you can visit that Monday through Friday.